Hey there, what's going on? Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. And I just thought I'd do a quick little video and share this with you. A nice uh, little tip for when you um, have some fruit, like a melon, for instance, or a mango, and um, or a watermelon, anything like that. Um, and it's ripe, and you cut into it, and it just doesn't have much flavor, um, or it's not very sweet. Don't suffer through eating it. Um, I had some mangoes. It just was kind of a bad batch. I mean, they were they were ripe, but um, every time I cut into it and started eating it, I was like, ah, it just didn't taste that great. So what do I do? I um, leave them whole. Okay, don't cut it up, but just leave it whole, wrap it up. See, I've got a piece of mango I had cut off, and um, I stick it in the fridge. And actually, I had a couple of them already been eating it, and then I was like, dawn on me to do a video to tell you about it. And just leave it there for like a couple days. Same with like if you have a cantaloupe or anything like that and it just doesn't taste that great. Put some ceramic up on it wherever you cut it and just leave it whole in the fridge for seriously like a couple days. And then go back to it. And for some reason I tell you it just gets sweeter. Um, or if you have it already cut up and stuff like that just leave it in a Tupperware and just uh, it'll just get juicier and just have a little more um, sweetness to it. I don't know, it works every time. I mean, these mangoes it really had no flavor at all. And, like, I'm chowing down on them now, and they're just so mm, juicy, and the flavor is so much more intense. So, anyways, a little trippy if your food fruit is not that flavorful, but, you know, you want it to be ripe still. Wrap it up, put it in the fridge, taste it a couple days later. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys real soon. Remember, always eat happy foods.